The views and opinions expressed in this recording do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of Logan City Council. Logan City Council does not make any representation of the accuracy of any such views and opinions. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers and listeners should be aware that this narrated story may contain names, images and voices of deceased people. Our Words, Our Story A Yagara language story by Derek Oram Sandy from the Urungapan Dancers recorded on the 15th of June 2019. Buranana uh, that means good morning in the local language here of the Yagara people where I'm doing this recording. Uh, the Yagara language group stretches from the south of the Caboolture River down towards the north of the Logan River, then out towards the foothills of Warwick and Toowoomba, and that's where the Yagara language was spoken. Here in Australia, we have over 1,500 Aboriginal languages and dialects right across this country, so the Yagara language group is one of those languages. My, on my mother's side, I descend from the Yagara language group and also the Yugambe language group, which is south of the Logan River and then down towards the Tweed River. I was part of the Mananjali people and the Wanjabara people of that Yugambe language group. So those are the two language groups that I descend from on my mother's side. My father's side is from central Queensland, uh, part of the Durumbul language group, Gangaloo language group, and um, out towards the west of um, Rocky and that uh, Birragaba language group out there. Um, so those are the languages that make up who I am and I'm here to share a bit of my journey. What language words mean to me and I'm going to share with you guys some of the language words that I've learnt from elders and family over my journey. So the first word is um, Jimbalang. Jimbalang means family. I held that very close to my heart. Family is a very important thing for us Aboriginal people and also Torres Strait Islander people. Because when we look into our dark history of the stolen generation and things like that, where our people get taken away from country and away from their families, you know, that, that word family is very important and we, we're coming back to that, that family way. So the word Jimbalang, it means family and I've heard it at many different family meetings and gatherings and stuff like that. So I hold that language word very close. Um, next couple of words, Nani Dargan. Nani meaning sea, Dargan meaning the country. So Nani Dargan, which is something we used to use as a, a family because I had a real big family. There was, I was the eldest and there was four, three other brothers below me and one sister. So growing up, we lived in low economic places like Logan, Ipswich, Case Ridge, Anala, all those type of places. Living in those areas, it get real bored. We would start to want to go out to the bush and go camping and get out of the, those areas for a while. So when my mum and dad used to take us out bushwalking or take us rainforest walking on country and places like that and visit certain areas, we'd always say, Nani Dargan, which means we'll go and see country as custodians and go and see all those stories that are within our country that we can see with the plants, animals and, and the trees. So that's what we'd call Nani Dargan means go and see country. Another one I'd like to finish on, because I descend from the Yurong Pen clan group of the Yagara language group, my grandfather, uh, great great grandfather Billum Billum. Um, Billum meaning the Peewee, uh, Balimba area named after him. That particular area is where my grandfather looked after, and that was his role as uh, part of the tribal headman of Yurong Pen clan group. So that's a clan group I represent, and we say the words Nani Nijin. Nani Nijin means see you, see you later as we never say goodbye as Aboriginal people. So when I say Nani Nijin, that means I'll see you fellas next time or you, I'll talk to you later on. Because we never say goodbye unless we send our family or friends' spirit to rest in the sky country. So we always say Nani Nijin, which means I'll see you next time we gather or next time we come across paths. So that's something that we always say as family to one another as Yurong and Yagara people. Also descend from Maganchen clan group which is on the northern parts of Brisbane. So those are a part of my story, my journey. Some of the suburbs we have, Tawong, the Stormbird, the Koyal Kokil, the Tawong, St. Lucia area is the spiritual totem. Tawong! Tawong! 
that's a sound that the animal makes, and it, and that sound has a story, in which it was taught to me by Uncle Desmond Sandy. And that story talks about that particular area of the storm bird, and the one that lets us know when the rain's coming from the west into the bay. So I'd like to play a bit of yiddiki or didgeridoo, and I want to hit, play and share the sounds of a way of expression, listening to the sounds of language words and animals and totems by understanding that that's a way of expression and telling stories as well, which is through that instrument. And you'll probably hear Tawong also, that storm bird. Our Words, Our Story project is a deadly digital communities program supported through funding from the State Library of Queensland and Telstra. Dream big with State Library of Queensland and Telstra in partnership with Indigenous Knowledge Centres and local councils. The Our Words, Our Stories project is in recognition of the United Nations International Year of Indigenous Languages. Logan City Council Libraries acknowledges that language, heritage and knowledge always remains with the traditional owners, elders, language custodians and other community members of the respective language nation. Logan City Council gratefully acknowledges the time, resources, stories and support of the following. Derek Oram Sandy, Walter Oram, Robert R. Wing, the Logan City Council Library's Deadly Digital Communities Project Officer, the Queensland Narrating Service for providing digital recording equipment, sound production and quality assurance, the Noyamba Meta Advisory Group. This recording features didgeridoo music performed by Derek Oram Sandy. For Mobo Jarjum, Tomorrow's Children, copyright 2019 Logan City Council. <laughs> 